What's up guys, Everything Apple Pro here, and in this video I'm going to be showing you how to finally jailbreak iOS 8.4 on a Mac. This is a native Mac application, it does not require a virtual machine or anything like that, and it works fairly well. So we're going to be jailbreaking the latest 8.4, 8.3, or any older firmwares, however, I do recommend you are on the latest 8.4 firmware. If you're on 8.3, go ahead and update using iTunes to 8.4, it is worth the update. And uh, if you guys don't know, this is a PP jailbreak which is a stolen version of Taiji's exploit in the Mac application. Not that it matters, it's just that they were not authorized to use this. However, it is a legit application and it does work successfully on the latest 8.4 firmware on all Mac computers. So I'm gonna go ahead and run through this real quick. I know a lot of people are jailbreaking for the first time and whether or not you've done this before, I'm gonna go ahead and walk you through the entire process. So why jailbreak? First off, there's a lot of compelling reasons to do so. Not only can it enhance the look of your device, it can also enhance the functionality and I have a full top 25 reasons over there as to why you should jailbreak iOS 8. Now you guys will need downloads for this and I'll have all of those right there. So go ahead and click on those. They'll include the latest PP jailbreak as well as anything else you guys do need. Now there are a few requirements that you must meet for this video. For one, you must have the latest version of iTunes installed. You must have iOS 8.4 installed. And although it's not required, I would recommend you guys back up your entire device and restore to 8.4 and then jailbreak and then restore your backup. It will increase the success rate, especially if this doesn't work for you, you can always try that. But this should work for everybody without restoring. No, it will not erase anything. It will not change a single thing on your device. Your device will be just as it was, just with one Cydia application added. Now there's a few things we need to go ahead and do on our device in order to prepare for this jailbreak. First off, go into uh, the settings and remove any Touch ID or passcode. It's better to do this without any of these enabled. Also, go into iCloud and sign out of iCloud, remove Find My iPhone. This will interfere fear with the jailbreak. Also, go ahead and enter airplane mode and disable Bluetooth if it is on. It's a very minor thing, but it could help with the success rate. Anyway, so this is pretty much it. That is what you need to do in order to prepare your device. Now let's go to the computer on our Macs and go ahead and jailbreak it. All right, so on my computer, the first thing you're gonna download is this .zip file. When you open that, you're gonna get a DMG. When you run that, finally, you'll be able to get the PP jailbreak. So go ahead and right click on it and select open. And now you'll get this prompt. You wanna go ahead and select open. Now with iTunes installed and your device plugged in, this is how we begin. Now it'll bring up this prompt. It will ask you to close iTunes if you already have it open, which I do. So I'm gonna go ahead and close that over here. And uh, now let's go ahead and do the same thing. Right click open and boom. So you'll get this pop-up right here. Now it has recognized my device. If it hasn't recognized it, go ahead and unplug your device, replug it, restart your computer, make sure iTunes is installed. It does need all of the iTunes drivers. Otherwise, we are ready to jailbreak and make sure this is unchecked right here, the PP helper, and go ahead and click jailbreak. So this screen right here will pretty much confirm everything I have asked you guys to do. Also, if your device is updated via over the air settings from settings, then it could interfere. It doesn't always, but it could. So uh, I would recommend a restore if you've done that. But anyways, with your device backed up, let's go ahead and click continue. So uh, this won't take long at all. It'll go ahead and jailbreak. And I haven't even shown you guys, I am running the latest 8.4 firmware, which I'll show you right here. So 8.4, I got the new music app. Uh, anyways, so leave your device, make sure not to touch anything on it. You'll get the screen completely normal. Uh, make sure when it does restart, not to go in and start opening stuff up because that does interfere. Just leave it alone for five to 10 minutes and the jailbreak will complete. So a couple other mini questions. No, this will not destroy your battery life. It will not make your device slow, especially on the newer 6 and 6 Plus. You'll be hard pressed to notice any performance differences between this and a non-geobroken device. It all depends on what tweaks you install. Uh, most of them have been updated, so they shouldn't be harmful. And this does also void your warranty, but only while your device is geobroken. To un-geobreak, all you guys do is go into iTunes and click restore. It will remove any evidence of ever being jailbroken. But anyways, in a moment here, my device will restart. And I'll go ahead and follow up on that. So in a moment here, my device will reboot and we are fully jailbroken on iOS 8.4. There's just a couple little tidbits left to uh, go ahead and set up Cydia and all that. So I'm going to go ahead and walk you through that right now. That's great that there's finally a jailbreak for Mac. It's been way too long. Even though this isn't the official one, it still works. You still get Cydia, nothing fishy about it. I mean, it works well. So anyways, there is Cydia right there. You wanna go ahead and turn off airplane mode, enable Wi-Fi, and go ahead and click on Cydia. So the file system will set up right now. It takes about five minutes, so uh, give it that time. All right, so my device has resprung. You can go ahead and enter all your iCloud information and Touch ID and passcode back in. So we're all set with that, and uh, there it is. So you guys are now 
geo broken go ahead and click on changes and refresh if there are any updates in here go ahead and install them otherwise you guys are set to go ahead and begin tweaking and customizing your device to your liking thankfully i have a ton of videos like that on my channel so uh, you can check those out right here as we can see we do have the latest version of Cydia, so we want to go ahead and upgrade uh, any upgrades we have always good to be on the latest version and i'll be sure to check out some of my tweak videos i have a ton of ios 8.4 and 8.3 compatible tweaks so uh, be sure to check those out make your device truly your own but anyways guys there it is you are now jailbroken on ios 8.4 untethered with the latest version of Cydium. so thanks for watching guys and thanks to the pp jailbreak team for making this happen on mac finally taiji is uh, way too slow on that but i will update links to taiji when it does become available anyways enjoy your jailbreak and all the cool things you can do with it be sure to subscribe as i'm posting jailbreak videos all the time have a great day guys peace